Hi guys, Ivan Susan here again from Vloggers on the Loose. Today we're going to do another comparison suburb. So we're in Craigie at the moment. As you can see behind me there, that's the Craigie Plaza, one of their shop, local shopping centres over here with the main tenant of IGA over there. And uh, Craigie's located about 23 kilometres um, north of the Perth CBD and there's a population of about 5,853 residents in this suburb and it's built over 4.6 square kilometres. So we're going to compare Craigie with a suburb called Kalaroo, which is Kalaroo's on the coast, Craigie's the suburb right behind it and we'll see how the prices all go in this, uh, these two suburbs. So we're going to take you for a bit of a walk around Craigie now and check it out. So guys, we're in one of the streets here in Craigie and we'll just go for a bit of a walk around. Those houses, what we're showing you now, it's right opposite the shopping centre. You can see the shopping centre here on your right hand side. So, um, Craigie, Craigie's quite an old um, suburb. It was developed in the 1970s. So it's reasonably, uh, reasonably close to the beaches, guys. Like I said, the suburb we're comparing it to is Kalaroo, and Kalaroo is on the beach. So the suburb's um, just behind Kalaroo, so it'll take you about 10 minutes to drive to the beaches here. Yeah? And the closest beaches are Malalu and Whitford's Beach. So they're pretty good beaches. We've done a, a video on Malalu might link the, that to this um, to this one for you guys then you can have a look at Malaloo because Malaloo is quite good so you can see the the house types over here as usual with these suburbs that were developed in the 1970s you got that old houses with the darker brick because the lighter bricks started coming out in the 80s And uh, they're still quite popular today. Well, today you've got a mixture of all sorts of stuff. The old's making a comeback. So um, they look like they're doing a few renovations here on both these houses, guys. You can see the wall over there. The, it's been filled in over there. That space and this one here next door. There's a lot going on here. They've actually, um, there's a bobcat at the back there. They've actually uh, gutted that house. I can see through the windows there. Everything's been pulled out. The gardens have, uh, have all been ripped up. So um, that's going to probably be something really good. And across the road there, there's a couple of um, houses over there that have been built on a big block. They, that's been subdivided, guys. There's, 178 A and 178. So you can see the frontages were quite wide, as you can see in the house next door. Yeah, look how wide that frontage is. So on the other one, they've fitted two houses in. This one here's got two houses also. There's one being built at the back there, but I don't. I think it's occupied by the same people because there's no actual dedicated driveway going down to that other house. It's got a gate there and it belongs to whoever owns that front house probably built it as a granny flat or teenage quarters or whatever now check this house here on the left guys very very low maintenance they've just been doing some work there in their garden they've pruned all that the wind's going to blow it all away but uh, very low maintenance over here you've got the artificial turf and you've got all the um, blue stone metal blue stone over there So as you can see, in, in you know, there's always a few houses that are unkept in these areas. This one here is a bit run down. So Craigie is a, a bit like um, one of the suburbs that we've done recently, a suburb called Padbury. And um, 
there was a lot of hype about Craigie, uh, media hype, and the price shot up. So it's also, look at that nice bougainvillea there, guys. That one's grown over the roof of that house. Look very nice, full flower. Yeah, the, the, the hype was that um, Craigie's close to everything, close to the beaches and that, and it pushed the price through the roof again. So, um, it's, it's not a bad looking sub, it's pretty old, but um, it's probably, probably better kept than Padbury was. Padbury's not too far from the suburb. I would say it's, it's in better shape than Padbury, and they were both developed in the 1970s. So there's a big leisure centre in this area, guys, called the, called the Craigie Leisure Centre. And that's a purpose-built um, complex. And it ha it's, um, there's all sorts of sports being played there. It caters for swimming, indoor soccer, basketball and netball. It also has a gym and you can also uh, hire out areas in that leisure centre for, to host um, children's parties and that. So it's got a cafe in there also, which is open seven days a week. So whoever's running that cafe is working their butt off because that cafe is open seven days a week. But they're obviously reaping the rewards. Check the tiles on this house, guys. <laughs> the roof tiles, they filled it in with a couple of different colours there. <laughs> obviously uh, couldn't find the colour to match it. So they've just whacked a couple of real dark tiles in. Now check this out, guys. This is in a street here in Craigie and all these houses down that street looks fairly new. So um, it looks like people are, I don't know if that's a new, a new development that has gone on in there. They've demolished something big, but the, those houses look fairly new. But what we've noticed also, people are doing a lot of renovating, like we showed you on their houses here in Craigie. As in Padbury, um, there wasn't much of that going on. But anyway, we're not here to talk about Padbury, we're here to talk about Craigie. So, um, yeah, I'd rather, it's, it's not a bad little area over here. It's all, because it is an old area, guys, it is all um, above ground power. Just looking in that new, newer part there, that, e that something must have gone on in here because that's all new houses in there. That's all brand new houses. There's, it looks like a decent sort of park across the road there. You might just nip across the road and, and have a look what that park's all about. This is called Pin Pinnacle Park over here. Craigie's in the city of Joondalup, by the way. You can see the sign there, city of Joondalup. So this is called Pinnacle Park here. And uh, yeah, it's not a bad looking park. There's a few uh, play areas over there. You can see a few kids in there playing. The park looks pretty decent over here. All the all the landscaping's been looked after. The lawns have been mowed nicely. Looks pretty good. Yeah, look at that, guys, across the road there. There's um, there's new houses in there, and there's a house over there that's just been it's under offer. So they're showing you can you can subdivide that block into two blocks over there. So you'll get one block at 220 square meters, and another block at 221. That's just what they're showing you. But you can keep the whole block and have over 400 square meters worth of land. I'm surprised that it's that small because usually in these suburbs from the 1970s, the block sizes are at least. 700 uh, square meters so i'm surprised that that one's that small and anyway there's your typical 1970s house across the road there guys with the dark bricks then you've got a brand new double story right next to it 
So yeah, they've, they've people are looking after the south here. Looks fairly new also. So people are taking care of their houses over here, and they they're renovating and they're doing all sorts of stuff. There's a bit of hills over there at the back. I don't know what that's all about. That's quite high up over there. There's houses built up there. I don't know if the camera can pick that up, but there are houses up there. All right, guys, we've just had a look. That's actually a craggy lookout up there. There are steps going up there. I can see railings going up there. So you can obviously, you be able to see the ocean from there, I would think. We'll just cross the road over here because we'll show you um, there's a bit of uh, new construction. There's a lot of new construction going up over here in, in Craigie actually. There's pockets where there's all um, new houses, for instance, over here. These are all fairly new houses over here. So some developers obviously bought up a mass of old houses over here and or something, something's gone, there must have been land or something around here. There's a brand new house going up there, guys. So all these are brand new here, and then next to it over here, we're back to the old uh, 1970s style house. And you've got a, a decent sized double storey over there which has been rendered, so it's an old house. Fairly old house there. But very, the lawns are very neat. Look at that, it's mowed immaculately. Those lawns, the gardens are kept immaculately. That's quite good. We'll take a walk up the street and see what's... It looks like it's quite a hilly area, guys. Over here. It's, uh, if you're built in the right spot. If you swing the camera around, you can see all those houses up there on the hill and they'll get some good views over there and they look all fairly new, those houses. What there is though over here, it's all above ground power. You can see all the power lines above. If people are People are doing some work over here also because these are all brand new pavers here. Looks like they've just been delivered. Oh no, it says garage sale, yeah. I don't know if that's for that. I don't know. I don't think it's the pavers. There's, a, there's all the stuff there for the garage sale over there. Talking about garage sales, guys. There is a big um, garage sale weekend happening in Perth this weekend. But I don't know when this um, video will go up, so you probably won't know when the weekend was, but it doesn't matter. So that Craigie Leisure, Leisure Centre, guys, what I spoke about before, that's actually open seven days a week, the whole thing. So on schools in this area, Craigie has got two primary schools, one of which is private. Now the train, the closest train station to Craigie is Edgewater or Whitfords. And there's a bus service, there's a house going up there at the back of this house here. So they'll have... Um, they would have had a big block and they um, subdivided that and selling it off. So here's this hills area guys over here that I was telling you about. It's all bushland over here and like I said there is a walkway going up there. Don't know how to get in there. I thought we could from the street but we can't. But it looks quite interesting. Would have been good to go up there and have a look at the views and stuff. Now the the bus service does take you to the train station. Either of those train stations that I men that I mentioned, Edgewater or Whitfords. And um, 
Guys, there's quite a few blocks of land for sale in here, in this area. But um, they are quite small blocks. Because um, they've all been subdivided. So these blocks are in the 300 and 400 square metre range. And they, um, they're all priced from the, the low to a high 200,000 Australian dollars. So that's not bad, but you'll have to be willing to live on a small block, 300, 400 square meters. And the cheapest house we saw in this area, guys, is for 649,000 Australian dollars. It's on a decent sized block. It's on 713 square meters of land. It's at number 27 Trussmore Crescent in Craigie. By the sounds of it, it's only a small house. It's only a three bedroom, one bathroom, and one car garage. So that brings us to, um, to the pricing in this area. We'll just, walk, we'll just walk down this road here before I mention the pricing. So what do you guys think of Craigie so far? I think it's quite good. Everyone seems to be looking after their houses over here. There's a lot of new construction going on from what we've seen. Um, there's quite a few amenities in the area. And the shopping center looked quite decent out there. We, we, when we got out of the car, we spotted a sign that says, um, $10 million lotto jackpot for tonight. So we thought, ah, oh, we went in there and bought a ticket, guys. So hopefully I can win something. Hey guys, so the pricing in this area, the median um, house pricing in Craigie in Perth, Western Australia, is 581,500 Australian dollars. And the median unit price in this area it's not too badly priced, guys. 377,750 Australian dollars. And the median land price in this area is 239,500 Australian dollars. So there's an early childcare centre across there. That looks fairly nice, it looks fairly new. And um, there's a school down there. I don't know what this here is, this building here, the light colored brick. It's got three car garages in there. It says Mercyville, it might be an aged care center, I'm not sure. It says Mercyville on the, on the wall over there. That school over there is called Whitford's Catholic Primary School. Because Craigie used to be part of a, a group of suburbs that was, that was uh, in the sort of Whitford's area many, many years ago. And they subdivided all the land and gave each area their own name. So this year is um, Whitford Catholic Primary School. It looks fairly, looks fairly new. So we might just wrap this um, video up over here guys as I stand in front of uh, Whitford's Catholic Primary School over there and you spin the camera around there you can see how high up we are and you can see the hills over there so guys um, we'll wrap it up over here um, on Craigie and we'll head down to the next suburb that we're comparing it with, which is Kalaroo. So we'll see you in Kalaroo. Okay guys, we've arrived in Kalaroo and the suburb we're comparing with um, Craigie. So behind me here is a good looking park actually. Have a look at that. Beautiful green grass, one of six parks in the area. Nice play area over there. You've got toilets down there. and. Um, Kalaroo is about 26 kilometers north of the Perth CBD. 
built over around um, three square kilometres and there's 5,177 approximately residents in this area. Now, this is the shops over here, guys. That's all you'll get. And that is it. There's a BWS over here. There's a couple of takeaway restaurants to your right over there and the hairdresser. And um, the closest big shops, you can go into Craigie, the suburb we're comparing it to, which has got an IGA there. Or you can go to Whitford City Shopping Centre, which is um, a massive shopping centre. And you'll find all your needs over there at Whitford City Shopping Centre. So what we'll do is, guys, we'll just take you for a little walk around Kalaroo. There's the BWS over there, and it said it's got a it says it's got a deli over there, Springfield deli. So you'll get your your minor supplies in there, like your milk and bread and um, newspaper, etc. Ice and fish and bait. You'll get bait because this place is fairly the suburb Kalaroo is fairly close to the ocean. So there's a, a brand new, a couple of new houses actually, three of them I can see, four of them, there's quite a few actually, it goes right down the street, these uh, new houses, these, have, these look very new, and they've obviously retained the, the verge trees, because those verge trees there on this one, especially this single story house looks quite established there. So this is just um, taking you guys for a walk down um, one of the streets here in Kalaroo. As you can see, there's there's a, old, there's a few old houses here also. There's one here, very, very old actually. Just a suburb um, like, um, like Craigie goes back to the 70s. Now this suburb, guys, 26 k is um, north of the Perth CBD, like I said, and recently it's actually experienced a, a price growth of 18%. So if you um, bought something here before that price growth, you've actually made 18% on your hard-earned money. Or if you're a long-term resident in the suburb, this is one of the bigger uh, price growths in the Perth metro area, by the way. 18 percent not bad look at this house guys it's quite nice unusual unusual um, it's for sale for the looks of it and that there's your um, it's on a 683 square meter block it's a five bedroom four bathroom house guys so a fairly big house over there But that's not the most expensive house in the area. We will get to that towards the end of the video. So hopefully you guys will watch to the end. We appreciate um, you watching, by the way, all our videos. Hope that you're liking it all. On all the suburbs of Perth in Western Australia, we will try and get around to, to all of them. We have had a lot of um, people asking um, about different suburbs in Perth and we're trying to um, accommodate everyone so um, we will eventually get around to every suburb in Perth that's the aim anyway unless I win a lot of guys and I'll move overseas and start doing some videos overseas <laughs> but now we will get around to it in Perth look across the road oh there's a few old houses here guys look at that these are really old ones here. Yeah. These things go back to the 70s. Look at this house here. Yeah, the roof on that is like a pagoda type roof. Interesting, interesting roof. It's a, it's a square house, very square. So hence I can do that type of roof. It fits in perfectly with the square design of the house. So there you go. <coughs> Pardon me. The word Kalaroo, guys, actually means 
It's an Aboriginal word meaning road to the water. Interesting because the Indian Ocean is just pretty close to the suburb. So that's what it means, road to the water. Now there's six parks in this area I might have mentioned when I pointed out that nice park back there. Six parks in this area. And uh, the closest beach to Kalaroo is Whitford's Beach, which isn't that far away. But look at this guy, he has a few newer houses here. Pulls out a limestone, that looks quite good. Don't mind the, the limestone. Or oh, they've renovated, I think they've renovated that house and they've put limestone, a limestone cladding on it because that roof looks fairly old. Just notice the roof, very old. But this house here has also been renovated by the looks of things because it's an older design. Mind you, this um, skillion roof type design is coming back these days, so who knows. But I'm, I'm assuming it's an older house that, was, that has been renovated. It looks like they've done quite a good job on it also, by the way, guys. Credit to the owners there. They've done a good job. It was an older style house, yep. And um, they've renovated it. And look at that house across there, guys. That, that wall, that retaining wall, definitely needs a coat of paint. So does the house. And this house here, the double story. Don't you like that retaining wall? That's solid rock, by the way. And that looks really, really good. I like that. That looks good. And here's your, here's your old 70s style house here, guys, um, with the rockery and everything. Remember the old rockeries everyone used to have? They've, they've done that quite well. There's a lot all native plants in there. So the closest shopping centre, big shopping centre here, guys, is uh, Whitford City, like I said before. Or you can go to Craigie Plaza, but you have to cross um, Marmion Avenue, which is a big main road. And then there's also um, Mullaloo Plaza, which um, we've done a video on Mullaloo, which we will link to this. Mullaloo Plaza doesn't, doesn't really look like much. I think there's an IGA there, but very run down in there. So here's a, here's a school here, guys, Springfield Primary School. Here you go. One of um, one of a few school, schools in the area. So that's the primary school over here. It's an independent primary, public independent public school. I don't know how that works. Probably run independently, but it is public, so they probably, if they need a handout, they'll get a handout from the government, I guess. I think that's how it works. When, when you're running short of money. Um, go to the government. They were sure bet a bank, a bankrupt the country one day, earning out all this money. Seriously. Should I get into Ivor's whinge of the day? Yeah. Let me know if you like Ivor's whinge of the day, because there's a lot of stuff that happens in this state and in this country that makes me laugh. Shall we talk about judges, guys? Shall we talk about judges? The High Court of Australia has decided to um, has decided that it is illegal to keep illegal immigrants in detention. So they've come here illegally. We've kept them in detention, but the High Court has decided that is illegal. So there are a couple of people out there. One has uh, allegedly raped a 13-year-old um, girl and another one has allegedly raped a 10-year-old boy and this judge from the High Court has decided that these two can go free. Don't you just love that? I think, I seriously think, if any politicians are listening, I seriously think that we should hold a... a um, a Royal Commission into the court system. Because some of these judges are absolutely delusional. Look, guys, 
uh, just I'll just break Ivor's wind of the day because that's Whitford City shopping centre over there. Let the judges have a bit of a breather, and then I'll get into them again. That's Whitford City shopping centre, Westfield, Whitford City. It's called. So it's a stone throw away from this area. Massive shopping centre, absolutely massive. Um, yeah, we should have a royal commission into the court system in this whole country um, because there's no such thing as common sense. You know. We can't, we're allowed to make a common sense decision. Don't look at your little legal book, judges. Make a common sense decision on some of these immigrants, illegal immigrants, I might add, illegal immigrants. And where are we going to house these people, by the way? There's no housing in Australia. <laughs> Every house is taken up, unless they've got family and friends out there that are willing to put them up. I just pray to God that the two people that have allegedly um, raped these children don't get put up a family with children. Whoever, whatever judge this is that made this decision, in my opinion, made the wrong decision. That's Ivor's Winge of the Day. We're in Kalaroo in Western Australia, guys, and we're walking down a very beautiful street here, beautiful day in Perth, a bit blowy. Uh, it's supposed to reach 29 degrees Celsius today. Like I said, um, in every suburb you will find your rundown house and rundown garden. I won't say any more. Hey right, guys, so uh, there's a train station here. The closest train is Whitford's train station, and there's a bus service taking you to that train station. So, um, we found a cheap house over here. Well, this is the cheapest house that we found, yeah, and it's not cheap. The cheapest house that we found is only on a 241 square meter block, guys, so it's a um, very, very tiny block. And this is a three bedroom, two bathroom, one car garage. And it's at number 6A. So it's obviously a, on a, a house that's been, a block that's been subdivided. Number 6A, Maritana Road, Kalaroo. And they want, believe it or not guys, they want in the mid 700,000s for that house. That's the cheapest house we could find. The most expensive house we could find in this area of Kalaroo was, it is on a 946 square meter block, and that's a five bedroom, two bathroom, two car garage at number 12, War Warrengar Close in Kalaroo. And that's on the market for $1,599,000. Australian dollars. Here's a big house going up here, guys. Check this out. Big double story over here. He's quite high up over here. So I don't know what sort of views he'll get from that double st from the top floor there. I don't know, but he should get some, some good um, ocean views probably from there. Um, there's a block also that we found in this area, guys. And it's a 427 square meter block. And they want in the mid, low to mid 300,000s for that block. So, getting to the pointy bit of this uh, video here, guys. Um, here's a nice little house here. A nice cladding on it. It's not, not brick, it's got the it's built out, it's got the cladding going around, which looks quite good. I don't know, that one's been, I think it's an old, there's one behind that also, guys. So that was on a big block at one stage. And they've um, whacked another house in the back there. So we'll get to the pointy end over here of the video. So guys, the, the median house price in Kalaroo is um, 965000 Australian dollars. And the median unit price in this area 
he's 409,000 Australian dollars. And this is an interesting one here, guys, because there's not much land around here. The median land price in this area, if you can find a block, is 667,500 Australian dollars. So, um, quite um, expensive for a block of land over here. Very expensive, actually. There's actually a block here, guys. It looks like it's been sold because someone's going to build on it because you can see there's a meter box over there. Um, very, very tiny block, though. You'd have to build a double story on there. So, um... We're on, the, we're on Maritana Road, guys, and um, we're just coming up here to, to what, I think this is the house that's for sale. Yes, it is. Number 6A. Here it is, yeah, guys. This house here is for sale. It's number 6A Maritana. It's a three-bedroom Two bathroom, one car garage, that's what it says and that's what it is. Number 6A. So that there was the cheapest house that we could find in the area. It's only on a 241 square metre block and they won from the mid 700,000 for that. Now just have a look at this. This doesn't go back far at all. That's where it ends because there's another house behind that by the looks of it. I think there is. Yeah there is. That's another house behind that, so this, this is a very, very tiny house. And the one, no, hang on, no, it's not, it's the same house. There's, there's, a, there's a joining bit right down there, you can see it. So that house goes right back, okay, but it's very, very narrow. And the one from the mid 700,000s for that, guys. So, in saying that, look at this old house across the road, yeah, there's a couple of them. They're a bit run down, aren't they? They really are run down. Anyway guys, in saying that, um, we will wrap up this video shortly. And I'll just give you the difference in the median prices here on the two suburbs of Kalaroo and Craigie. So the difference in median price in a house between Kalaroo and Craigie is uh, 383500 Australian dollars. And the difference in median price in a unit in these with these two or in these two suburbs is thirty one thousand two hundred and fifty Australian dollars. So that's not too bad. The unit price the median difference between the median price of these two suburbs is only thirty two thirty one thousand two hundred and fifty Australian dollars. Now there's a big difference in the land guys obviously because Kalaroo's land price is quite high. So the median, the difference with the median price in the land for these two suburbs is a whopping 428,000 Australian dollars, with Craigie being the cheaper of the two suburbs in this area. This guy just reversing out with his nice new Tesla, and he just um, stopped and uh, you can't hear those cars, they're very silent. And he's just um, allowed us to go um, behind him there, which is nice of him. So guys, talking about the vacant blocks of land, I've just spotted another one over there. So that's quite a big block there. There's also on this Maritana Street. Check that out, guys. That's a decent sized block there. Um, you, can, you can build a nice house on that. Beautiful, all retained and everything, all fully fenced. No neighbours to bother you behind you there because it's all bushland. Beautiful. Anyway, we might wrap it up over here, guys. Um, on the suburbs, on the comparison suburbs between um, Kalaroo and Craigie. And uh, we hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. And um, keep watching our videos if you like them and leave those comments we've had quite a lot of nice comments thanks for that and thank you all for watching the video 
all our videos and uh, we'll see you in the next one guys.